Hi, Rachel here, and I'm going to be talking about color. I'm not very artistic or amazing at matching colors, so if you're struggling too, here are some few tips that might help you out. First, I'm going to introduce you to Color Lovers. This website is very helpful to your color selections. Whenever I'm looking for a color palette for a presentation or a website, I will always look here. By the way, a palette is a selection of colors on this website that can help you for your theme of your website or blog or presentation. So, say you want a palette for desserts. So, I type in desserts here in the search bar. And a bunch of different palettes will come up. So, you can look and see what type of color themes come up. And if you find one that you like, you can click on it. Let me find one I like. Okay, I'll just click on this one. And they'll have all the hex codes for the colors. If you just like one color, you can get a hex code for one color and put that in your website. So a hex code is a small six-digit code that can be letters such as A, B, C, D, E, F or numbers from 1 to 9 and these numbers and letters represent color. So for example say you wanted this code. So I copy it and this is another website and it can help you find just colors if you want and so I put in the code here and I hit enter and then this is what it looks like so if you don't want a palette or you're just looking for a certain color and you just want to know the code then you just look around here and you can scroll around and be like oh I like that purple oh I kinda want a lighter oh so that's the code copy that code put it in the website background and it will pop up what makes a good palette so a good palette contains 20% of a hot color when 80% is a cool color or 20% of a cool color when 80% is a hot color. One of the colors should weigh more, it doesn't always have to be 20-80 but if you have kind of half-half or just all like one color it sometimes doesn't look very good and like here sometimes it looks nice because maybe you're looking for that theme but adding that extra hot color like here gives it some flavor, some taste to the presentation, it's more appealing to the eye. So for this website, it's mine, and um, I typed in desserts, which is my example before, and I found this cutesy color palette where it has like this light pink and this beige and light blue and a pink. And so as you can see, it has some hot colors of pink, beige, and then it has the blue, the cool colors, so it's not very like hot, hot, hot. It has some blue to cool it down and it balances it out. Also, I chose these colors because it kind of matched with my desserts. Like, you can see some pink and blue here, some pink here too, um, blue and pink here. And so, you want it to match your palette with maybe the pictures on your blog it, maybe to emphasize your theme or some of your scenery things like that so last thing before I go I just wanted to show you what that palette we chose earlier would look like in a presentation having your own color palette and designing your own theme can look way better and original than all the themes Google provides you with so just to recap, this is Color Lovers. You can look for palettes, pa patterns, colors, look for keywords in here. And this is Color Picker. It can help you find the certain color you want, the hex code. Thank you for watching and have fun searching for colors. Bye!